This week on Sweet Ruka. With country still locked down, we check out of quarantine in Grenada and spend some time on shore with new friends. Curtis takes the boat for a little single-handed pleasure cruise, and we finally see boobies on Sweet Ruka. I'm Kate. This is Curtis and Roxy the dog. This is our tiny home, Sweet Ruka. We left everything to sail around the world without going through the canal. You heard me right. Cape Horn and the Cape of Good Hope. Click subscribe and come along for the ride. We were hoping to sail to the Azores and down to Cape Horn, but with everything locked down, we made our way to Grenada for hurricane season. We just finished our 10-day quarantine and we're planning to finally get some time on shore when all of a sudden... Hey everybody! Well, we checked out of uh, quarantine yesterday and we were gonna go run errands today, get a new outboard, get some fresh groceries, but now it is pouring rain. So, uh, Kurt's taking a shower, I'll let him finish scrubbing up and then I will show you guys the awesome downpour boat wash that we're getting here in Grenada. Yeah! Ready for this? Nothing like a cockpit shower. Oh, that's some good water right there. As soon as we cleared out of quarantine, we headed straight to the marina restaurant to grab a drink and ended up talking with the fellow cruiser for a while. He filled us in on some of the fun things to do, and the next thing I know, I was invited to an all-women birthday party two days later. Having known no one, I was quick to make friends and get thrust right into the culture, starting off with the traditional Grenadian dance of Bele. Later on that evening, we met with new friends from the marina, Jen and Ryan, and their friends, Mandy and Joe, at the famous BD's restaurant, well known for their quality food and amazing views of the bay. We sang happy birthday to Jen like new old friends and enjoyed the night overlooking St. George's Harbor. The mango coconut ice cream was the perfect ending to the day. It even felt like Renata was turning out to be a happy accident. The six of us from Jen's birthday had decided to make the most of our time in Grenada by seeing as much of the countryside as quickly as possible. While we leave so many friends and family members behind on this journey, it's amazing how fast and connected we are with others that experience the lifestyle of cruising. The day was filled with unexpected but amazing moments that brought many laughs. Heck, you might even laugh too. We started off with hilltop views of the beautiful Carinage in front of St. George's Harbor, one of the, if not the most beautiful in all of the Caribbean. It might not be the views of Cape Horn that we were expecting, but we were still grateful for this breathtaking surprise. I gotta swim to the Isle of You. We don't wanna spend this night alone. Messed up, I'm gonna walk you home. You Next, it was off to see the motor monkeys that were originally brought over from China, and now there are over 10,000 monkeys on the island. We all took turns sharing a mango or banana with the monkeys, and Joe was brave enough to go first. But as you'll see later on, it was Curtis's creativity that truly got the best camera shot. No, you want it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> 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 Curtis dropped straight down on his head. Oh, man. Very slow. Oh, wow. I'm doing it. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's so cute. Right I'm top. taking this off. There we go. I want to see. Yeah, yeah, take out my neck. Yeah, yeah, take out my neck. Photo, photo. Lovely. Oh. Don't scare, don't scare. He's oh. friends with you, babe. <laughs> Hold it like this, right? Don't move it. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh oh my god. Don't scare, don't scare, don't make a bit move. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's so smart with that tree limb. Gotcha. I'll put go. it like right here, right? Like, yeah. like put it here and he'll come get it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That works. Perfect. That's perfect. perfect. One foot here, okay. and one here, right? I'll put the hand here. Right. And get a foot right. Oh. Lovely. And get a foot right. Oh. Yep. Anybody else? Yeah. Oh, 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 o
It was time to get back in the car and drive through the rainforest and off to the next surprise. We stopped for a few quick photo ops before continuing on and taking a small hike to a spot where I received the strongest water pressure shower of my life. As we drove through the rainforest, we got to learn about many of the local fruits and spices that the island is well known for, particularly the nutmeg. We learned about how all the parts of the nutmeg have uses so that none of it goes to waste. Parts of the nutmeg can be used for cooking, but it can also be used to make syrups, lipstick, and other makeup. The nutmeg is what Grenada is well known for. Next it was the cocoa bean. Joe commented that Grenada had the grocery store in their backyard. We sampled the pulp of the cocoa and it was delicious. The pulp itself had a sweetness to it, while the bean was quite bitter, and we ended up having a few unexpected laughs. <laughs> oh, I'm eating slime. I'm actually going down. <laughs> Don't bite, you only suck. Mm. Mm -hmm. right? You keep sucking, when you finish, you throw it away. Rule and number you one. <laughs> Don't Did you bite it? it? Don't bite. <laughs> Did she bite it? <laughs> just a child. I'm just a child. <laughs> Later, we also looked at sugarcane and breadfruit, which can be used similarly to a potato. Grenada truly is amazing. Next, it was towards the top of Grenada at Grand Etang Lake, which is a crater lake of an extinct volcano. The lake is just over 1,700 feet above sea level and only about 20 feet deep. It was crazy imagining a volcano was once in this very spot. Where are we? I don't know, in the rainforest. Pit stop. It's not a fun day with friends if you don't stop for some brew and some food. We took a quick pit stop to refuel. Oh, refreshing. Kate's got a roadie. A lambie roadie, right? Tell us about it. It's gonna be a con roadie that we're gonna eat after we walk up to Welcome Stone, peer out over the Atlantic Ocean, so I'm excited. Mm. What are we doing? We're going to Welcome Stone? Welcome Stone. We're going up that freaking hill after we've had three beers and some rum and a roadie. I hate to go down this road when it snows. <laughs> I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more. Just to... <laughs> 5,000 miles. <laughs> It's really steep! Da, da, da. <laughs> Nick was right though, don't eat the roadie before the hike. Yeah, we course. didn't listen to him. I, I We're a bunch of smart asses. <laughs> oh, there we go. See those little islands? Do you know what they're called? I don't. The little islands. Okay, turn around. <sighs> Beautiful. So here's what's going on. We took our little uh, bus up this road. We got to the top, we looked at the ocean, we came back, battery was dead. So now we're uh, doing a little jumper cable action. Yeah! To finish off a full hot day, we decided to jump in the water for a little ocean float to cool off. Hi everybody! <laughs> Where are we? Grenada! 
Grenada. This is the Pathway Beach. Pathway Beach? Yeah. Nice. I feel so and good. And the sea so is good. down there behind us. As the sun was setting, we made our way over to some of the best street food in Grenada, on Wall Street, where Curtis and I shared a burger made in a truck grill. Or should I say a grill truck? Earlier, when I was having that girl's day, Curtis decided to take Sweet Ruka out for a little single-handed action. It definitely takes some skill to sail the boat and fly the drone all by yourself. I wonder how this night will be The apple does not fall far from the tree She said I almost died a week ago I lost my will, I thought I let you know The water so I wait up here. I just let it you know. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Curtis here from Sweet Ruka. We are just cruising around today outside of Grenada. We've got the kite up. We just jived. We're headed out a little bit and uh, we're gonna have just a little bit of sunset sail cruising fun. I'll spin around, show you the boat. There we go. There's St. George's and Grenada behind us. And go up here. And I think there's a catamaran kind of out here somewhere. Yeah, there he is, right there. Boom, right there, 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 got him. So yeah, just kind of hanging out. It's a light breeze today, maybe like eight to 10 knots. You can see what the wind instruments say. But yeah, we're just kind of cruising along. The uh, true wind speed says 6.4. We are going four knots speed over ground. So yeah, we're just uh, just cruising right along. But yeah, we had to jive out because there was a uh, fishing boat. And I definitely didn't want to run over a little fishing boat. I don't know if we can see them over here. It's just a bunch of guys in like 12 foot wooden boats that they build themselves. They take great pride in their boats and the way that they're built, the way that they're painted. You know, it's just kind of really cool. The guys are all really nice, uh, super friendly. Keen to sell you some, some fish. Wait along the corridor. Some would say they've seen me here before. We quickly found out a lot more about the nature in Grenada than we wanted to know. A brown booby had made our masthead his home and left plenty of unpleasant droppings on the deck and dodger. We tried hollering and banging on the mast to scare him off, but nothing worked. So we set flight to the drone, careful not to damage it on our own rigging. And while we got some awesome footage of the booby up top our mast, it did nothing to deter this big bird from settling right in. While trying to scare it with the drone, it seemed unfazed, but finally, success! Which was short-lived when he circled back around and nestled in. We only had one option left, and it was time to up anchor. Well, this is our failed attempt. As you can see, we are full speed ahead, and the bird is unfazed. We did circles, figure eights, zigzags. You can see in the clouds, we are spinning now. Oh, oh, nope, he's still holding on. Oh my gosh. All right, time for the climbing harness. Well, everybody, I went down to uh, grab the climbing harness, put it on, by the time I made it back up, he was gone. Too far away from his home, I guess, so let me show everybody here. 
He's gone! Woo! It only took lots of figure eights, and zigzags, two nights of bird all over the boat, and we had enough. So, hasta luego. With gorgeous sunsets and overnight friends, it was hard to complain about the life we ended up in. Stay tuned as we try to figure out what to do next while waiting for more countries to open.